Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Lynn Wilson and welcome to my home. I hope you're having a good day. I love to thrift shop and thrifting I did. So just to let you know how much I love to thrift shop and how much I love the state of Pennsylvania. I live in New Jersey, but we travel to Pennsylvania. We call it PA, we go to PA all the time. I don't know that you say that with any other state though. In the United States, everything is usually you know, in full sentence. You don't say you go to NY or NJ. I don't know, it's very odd. But anyway, within seven days, I was in PA, Pennsylvania, three times. And I went the first time with my daughter-in-law and we went thrifting and it was just her and I on a mother-daughter date and it was the best ever. And then the second time we were there on a bus trip, a few days later with my job, they had a bus trip that we went out to see a Christmas program. And then the third time I was out with my annual, we go once a year with my girls, my friends, my ladies, who you saw in the beginning in the picture. These are my people. These are my people that bring me joy. These are my people that I can be myself with. And these are my people that love to thrift. So we have rules when you come in my van. So let me tell you the rules in case you decide to have a thrifting tour of your own. The rules are, number one, there is no judgment. You can buy whatever you want. You can buy a paper clip, a paper clip to a beautiful wreath. You can buy as many clothes and knickknacks and brick and brack and all the rest that you want and no one will judge you because we are all going to make our houses homes and we all do it in a different, unique way. That's rule number one. Rule number two is we only encourage one another the entire day, whether it's just, you know, building each other up or telling each other something we need to hear. We just do that so that when we come home, there's been no, you know, you're with enough negative people. I want it to be a positive experience. We start the day off in a word of prayer before we even hit the road. We always hit Wawa. We get our coffee and bagels and all that rest for breakfast, fill up with gas. Everybody chips in for gas and tolls. In case you're wondering, whoever does the driving, it's usually me, but whoever is, we all chip in. There's an envelope, money goes in it, nobody looks to see who gave what. You give what you can afford just to help cover those expenses. We hit all the thrift stores, the Amish markets, the little roadside stands. We hit all the thrift stores, we do all the things. We have a great day. And the last thing we do every time we hit Shady Maple Grocery Store. And if you've ever heard of Shady Maple Smorgasbord, they have a grocery store on the other side of the campus. We hit that. We get all the discounted grocery items, the produce that's been reduced. They have local grown produce that they sell there that's discounted, it's so cheap. And we get the bakery items, half price, and we get some other goodies. We come home with a bunch of junk. Trust me, when I say you can't fit another thing in the car, I'll show you a picture right now of what some of this looks like in my car. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna break it down into a couple of um, segments because I have lots of things. So I did pick up, I'll try and hold up one of these, this little earring, let's see if I can get it. Yep, there you go. It's just silver on the bottom and a little gold here. I like, I always wear dangling. I never wear just like a pearl or something like that. It has to have a dangle. But this one I thought looked quite nice and quite elegant. So I picked up those and the ones that I'm wearing, let's see if I can show you these, these little brown ones here. I picked up these as well. So some of the items, there's one or two shirts that have already disappeared somewhere in the mix of our clothing that my husband has worn shirts and I've worn jackets. I'm using one of the bags because it's been a couple months. But I did pick this up. Now this was, this one here, let me show you. This is Fashion Sense. How many of you are in Pennsylvania in the Lancaster area? Have you been to Fashion Sense? I went to the one in Morgantown, went to the one in Ephrata, blew my mind. That's all I have to say. And if you go on, let me think, let me think, oh, think, think, flavor, local flavor. L-O-C-A-L, local flavor. Go on their website and look up Fashion Sense. You get a coupon for 20% off your entire order. So there's a tip for you today. I found that out after the fact. Oh yes, while I'm sitting here, that Christmas tree behind me came from Fashion Sense in Ephrata. So this was $9.99 originally. This is a Vera Bradley. It was marked down to $7.99 and then marked down to $5, and I got it for 
So this is the print. It's got a little mirror here, which I like, and just a little, you know, place for your lipstick or whatever here. There you go, just a little bag. I will be using this actually as a pen case in my purse. I just really liked the fabric, the print. I love Vera Bradley. I'm hooked on Vera Bradley. So I don't necessarily have a certain print I do or don't like. I just get what I like. But as you can see on here, let's see if I can get this to focus. Maybe, 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 maybe not. Okay, I'm sorry. Learning, I've got a new camera, new phone, and I'm learning how to use it. But it puts a date, and then it tells you the price. After that date, it drops down. After that date, it drops down again. After that, they put it on clearance. So I got it for $5. Um, okay, what can I show you next? Scarves. I love scarves. As you know, I wear them all the time. And I just needed, I didn't need, but I wanted a few new scarves. I did not have a just a plain green scarf. It is wrinkled and tattered. Yes, I know. It just needs a, it needs a little love. I'm going to, usually what I do is I air these out and then I iron them up. And this was $2. It was $2 for a nice solid green scarf. And then I got this one. I do not have a solid gray. So I got a nice solid gray. And these are huge, huge, huge. You can see, so big. These are great. You know, I just, I love a scarf around my neck. I'm always cold. Let's see, what is this one here? I got to remember what I bought. Oh, I picked up a few clothing accessories. So I picked up this little jacket. I loved this jacket. I have to say, I might be wearing this. I think I'm going to be wearing this to work this week. I have an event on Thursday and I might be wearing it. So it is just a nice animal print. It's gray and black. And it's just one of those where it has the open front and the swirls where it drapes down. I really like that. So pick that up for myself. Pardon my reach. I got to go behind me and start pulling this stuff down. Okay. Then I picked this up for myself, and I probably am going to wear it with that jacket. I just loved here, this little piece here. It is um, a piece of fabric, and then they've sewn on the beading, and I just liked it. It's very modest and a very bouncy fabric. It will wash and drip dry well. I picked up a navy blue one. I did not have a navy blue shirt, and I like that, and uh, it has a v-neck top but very simple so that jacket was 529 this was also 529 and i have people say to me all the time well thrift shops aren't cheap you're right there are some that are not cheap we have a goodwill not far from us i personally find goodwills to be very expensive i don't know why but i find them expensive but once in a while i do find something i really like there so um but I go out to Pennsylvania, I go out to PA because the stores out there to me are so much cheaper. I picked this lightweight jacket up. I have to show you, look at the sleeves, like a lace. I love it. And at the very bottom, it also has the lace. It's very thin. You can almost see through it. It was $9.95, but the pink tags were 50% off. So I got it for less than $5. And I really like it because I can wear it for Christmas with a white with a white shirt underneath and maybe some pearls is what I was thinking. But it's something nice that I could even wear in the summertime with air conditioning. So I liked that. I picked this jacket up. It's a shirt slash jacket. I really liked the colors. And this was, um, this was $5, but it was also half price. So I only paid $2.50 for it. It was one of those things where, you know, you buy the things and sometimes you go, I I don't know if I should have gotten that at the time I loved it I got it home and I was like I don't know but even if I got a season out of it for two dollars and fifty cents I can't go wrong all right what else did we get pull some more down here picked up some shirts for the hubby here's one that I got for him I love this color Graham looks great in colors like this so the men's shirts were five dollars and 19 cents I don't know why they come up with 29 cents and 19 cents and this is chaps. I'm so sorry. It's blurry. That's chaps. Okay. Then I picked up another black shirt. See a theme here with me? Black shirts. Look at that. The little silver uh, rommets on here. And it's a sweater material, but it's like a nice stretch. And the same thing. I think it'll drip dry well. And this one, I don't remember. They tore, they tore it off. 
but I don't pay, I usually will pay about $3.50, 3 to 350 is my baseline. If it's less than that, great. If it's more than that, I really have to like it. Then I picked this one up for Graham. Thought that was another nice print for, for him, short sleeve. I'm throwing all the clothes on my living room floor in case you're wondering what I'm doing. So I'll have a nice pile when we're all done. Pick this one up. I love this green, what did you call it? Green check maybe for Graham. I really liked it. And this is a JC Penny. And I don't know, I, I think this was the same store where it was $5.19. But nice shirt. Graham does not like to shop. I usually shop for him. He used to shop all the time. It's not something he enjoys anymore. But I know his style and his taste, and I know what he looks good in. And my job is to make him look good. So I try, and when I do go out, find some goodies for him. But there's one store in particular he loves to shop at. So I always make sure we hit that one so he can get what he likes. Picked this up for myself, a nice jacket. I've already worn this. It does have some sequins in it. If you can see that little bit of glitter in there. I love this. And uh, one of those black shirts would go great under that. So I got a nice jacket for myself. A couple more things here. I have a navy blue cover-up that kind of swirls in the front, and I love it. It's by Susan Graver. If you watch QVC, Susan Graver on there. I love her stuff, cannot afford it. But I got it for $3.50 the last time I was in Pennsylvania. And then I found this shirt. I really liked it. It's just very, I got this at the Fashion Sense in Morgantown. Even though I said I didn't like the store, I did pick this up. But it's nice and long, very, very long. So if you wanted to wear it with leggings, you could do that. And then I have that navy blue cover up that would go nice with that as well. And then I picked up myself a pair of jeans. I don't really need jeans, but I don't know. There was something about these jeans I liked, so I picked them up. And there you go. Then I have a couple more things to show you. So I picked up some boots. We tend to get snow here in New Jersey, and I needed a, a new pair of winterized boots. The ones I have are probably 30 years old, and they're starting to seep. I guess there's cracks in the bottom. They look very similar to this. You know how much boots cost. So these boots, I paid $20. Yes, expensive. Yes, I get that, but they look brand new, hardly even worn. And these are... I can't, what's the name on them? I can't read it. I wish I could. I'm sorry, can't read it. But I did look them up and these boots start at $180. When I got to the van, I was waiting on Graham and I did the Google eye lens and these boots start at $180. So for $20, I did quite well. Then I picked up these boots. I just thought they were adorable. They got um, the little buttons here and then it just pulls over. And they're fur lined. I don't have any that are fur lined. All mine are just like a slip on boot. I love boots. I love boots. So these will be put to good use. It says hoder or hotter on here. I don't know. I didn't look these up, but I did like the fur line. And these, um, to me, look brand new. Let's see if there's anything on the inside. Nope. They look brand new to me. So. There you go, that's the boots. And then I picked up a couple of bags. This one is a Vera Bradley bag. And it's heavy because it's filled. I am using it for work. So somewhere on here is the Vera, has a little Vera tag on here. But it's a nice brown quilted, got pockets here, pockets on the side. It was $12.95, nice line. But I do use this as a tote for work. And you know, I don't think most of you probably know the cost of your $12.95 for that bag is good. It would be great on a resale. If I keep it up, I can always resell it, which I have sold Vera bags, bags on Facebook Marketplace, and I've done well. Then I picked up this bag, Tis the Season. I fell in love with it. I, I don't know. This one was $4.00. So I got it on, it was marked down, marked down. This was on Fashion Sense in Ephrata, and it's just got the gold grommets there. It's just a big old empty bag, but I loved it. I thought, wouldn't this be great for the holidays? I love a big bag. I love a big bag. I, I can put all my stuff in it, my planner, my wallet, everything. Then 
I picked up this one and this is nine West. I don't buy nine West. I cannot afford nine West, nor would I pay the price if I could afford it, but it was $15.99 and we got a 20% discount off of that. So I picked this up. I just love the color. I love the style. To be honest with you, if my daughter-in-law is watching this, my daughter-in-law has the best style ever. She dressed modest. I'm very proud of her for being a young woman. She's always dressed modest apparel, but classy and fashionable. Her makeup is done to perfection and she has the best bags. I love watching and learning from my daughter-in-law and this looked like a Heather. So that is why I purchased this bag because it reminded me of Heather. And I know some of you watch What's in My Wallet. I still use the same one. I have a gray one and a teal one and I've just got this off of Poshmark and that is like a thrift shop online. And this is by Lug. And I have to probably do another video of what's in my wallet, what's in my purse. This is my favorite. I use it all the time. If you didn't see that, go back and catch it. But I will be transferring from my gray one to my brown one. And I'll probably just revisit that for anybody that wants to see. In terms of fashion and clothing and all the rest, I have some household items that I wanna show you. Some of the things are already hung up on the wall. Some of the things are in the boxes to my right. I gotta show you. So there you go, thrift shopping in Pennsylvania. I'll throw a few pictures at the end. Thanks so much for coming over. Don't forget to subscribe, like, leave a comment. Thanks so much, you guys.